Hi everyone, it is August 29, 2019. DARPA apparently needs a huge underground facility by Friday. By Friday. DARPA, the mad scientist of the Department of Defense, yes, mad science wing of Defense Department, issued this tweet. Attention, city dwellers. We're interested in identifying university-owned or commercially managed underground urban tunnels and facilities able to host research and experimentation. It's short notice. We're asking for a response by Friday at 5 p.m. The ideal location would be several city blocks with complex layouts and multiple stories. What's going on? DARPA wouldn't explain why they need an underground facility so quickly. All they said is DARPA is interested in exploring this domain for researchers to analyze and enhance approaches to improve situational awareness and response times in emergency scenarios. Okay. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. So, DARPA is making a whole lot of people nervous by its responses on Twitter when someone said that the urgent need for a tunnel sounds both exciting and ominous. DARPA replied, even to us. Even to us, right here. Ominous and exciting. Well, okay. Uh, you do know that the Army will be conducting exercises, special forces will be unloading in North Carolina, 21 counties, on Friday. On Friday. Now, I'm not saying that the two are connected, but who the hell knows? Residents across North Carolina We'll see a series of special forces war exercises, including heavy caliber gunfire, simulated bombs, helicopters, and whatever else encompasses a war zone. This is being held in 21 North Carolina counties starting, that's a typo, August 30, Friday. The Army told residents, don't panic if they hear gunfire at the middle of the night or early morning. Wow, what fun for you guys in North Carolina. War exercises known as Robin Sage is considered one of the most extensive training exercises in the United States, started uh, in the early 1950s. Robin Sage will be held in complex urban environments in North Carolina Hostile forces will battle special forces, students, volunteer, civilians, and soldiers from Fort Bragg. The training concludes on September 12. Wow. Well, have a good night's sleep, North Carolina, for about two weeks. This, in the video that I posted on this exercise, I said this is like the ISIS army, the ISIS U.S. Army loading up in the back of pickup trucks driving through North Carolina, shooting off their guns. Wow. All right. Here are all of your counties. Alamance, if I pronounce any of them wrong, I'm sorry. Anson, Caraburis, uh, Chatham, Cumberland, Davidson, Davie, Guilford, Arnett, Hoke, Lee, Montgomery, Moore, Randolph, Richmond, Robeson, Rowan, Scotland, Stanley, Union, Wake Counties. Uh, here's a little bit more information on this exercise. Students will go against siege, uh, ah, seasoned soldiers who will act as realistic opposing forces and guerrilla freedom fighters. 
Special Forces students will wear civilian clothes, but the public will be able to spot them with a distinctive brown, brown armband as they zip between counties chasing enemy forces their vehicles will be labeled too along with training sites listen to this candidates are placed in an environment of political instability characterized by armed conflict forcing soldiers to analyze and solve problems to meet the challenges of this real world training isn't it interesting that we're going through political instability in reality I can't I, it look this this country has just gone utterly berserk I was looking for some information an article something where the residents of South uh, North Carolina were upset about this training exercise and I could not find anything so if any of you in North Carolina are upset about it, please, please release your data in the comments section below. Unbelievable. So this article on the DARPA needing a huge underground facility by Friday, I, in a different color, marked virtual fences yes darpa created virtual fences disaster relief robots and the invention invention of the internet itself no it wasn't al gore it was darpa and the internet comes from the mad scientist in the wing of the defense department this is a tool of war military right here that you're looking at on your phone on your computer on your laptop on your whatever else you can access the internet with all of the products now with this technology being used 5g 4g 3g it's all military why do you think the military unleashed this because they are using it and they're using it against us the enemy of the state virtual fences directed energy beam a virtual fence virtual fence a directional energy weapon and in particular to directional energy weapons to use directional energy beam of high power 5G millimeter wave. It can penetrate the skin of an intruder, heat the exterior of the skin, including the nerve periphery, those causing a, thus causing a temporary pain without causing even permanent damage to anything like intruders directed energy still millimeter waves have been proposed in order to prevent the undesired person entering a protected area it's a virtual fence I've been saying in virtually every video that I've posted on our illegal immigration problem those crossing the border illegally build that fence build that fence built no now it's finish that fence finish that fence we don't need an actual fence all we need is a virtual fence that our military has been using in other countries like Iraq Afghanistan and soon enough Americans will get why they are rolling out 5g no it's not to give you faster download speed it's to keep you from entering neighborhoods where you do not belong to keep you out or to keep you in 
a virtual fence is what they are constructing for all of us. So this build the wall, build the wall, build the wall. You know, I listen to the chant. Now it's finish the wall. And it's such bullshit. It's, it's one of the issues that gets played over and over and over again periodically when they need to bring up some issue. And uh, we've got an, an awful lot of illegal crossing with the, and I've posted videos on this, with the Border Patrol helping, helping, you know, people cross the border with our Department of Homeland Security and ICE flying them all over the country with our Department of Homeland Security and ICE releasing onto the streets of America, not deporting, but releasing back onto the streets those illegal immigrants who have committed crimes. Oh, felonies. Those violent crimes like murder, rape, uh, vehicular manslaughter, drinking drunk. No, wait. Drunk driving. Ah, yes. My brain is going. So the next video will be on our radar, blasting away frequencies that well, uh, just render our brains mush. All links are below.